Here are the right center ambush. Station Bremen. In the late 1970s, the clash exploded into the cultural Zetacars. Their radical yell touched the hearts and minds of a generation. The clash's messages of unity and rebellion challenged the pillars of the British establishment in a way no rock group had done before. In November 2019, the British Conservative leader attempted to manipulate the clash in a Tory party political broadcast. Uh, what's your favourite band? Uh, look, this is either this is either the clash or it's uh, Rolling Stones. So you can you can make of that what you what you will. Johnson is a pathological liar. With serious mental health issues, clearly. So it didn't surprise me in the least bit that he tried that stunt. And then his multi-millionaire Tory chums tried to get in on the act. On the streets of Notting Hill and across the country, original Clash fans and friends of the band were furious. A group of them decided that something had to be done. This is the story of a fight back in defense of the Clash and radical rock and roll. It's a story of resistance and a reminder of what truly matters. The music of the Clash and some others say, do you know what, you know, if we get together, we can fight this and we can win it. It's a story of the contemporary culture wars and those who are prepared to fight them. There's a lot of us still standing. We may be older, but we haven't gone away. It's a story of the online musical universe and its real life ramifications. It's a story of the past, the present, and a future that remains unwritten. It's a story about a cultural legacy, about people and their passions for justice and equality. It's a story about truth. Some things are worth defending. Shake Babylon, shake. One day you fall and break. Shake Babylon, shake. All you do is take. Babylon shake Art and soul you fake Shake Babylon shake